hope you're excited to get creative with clay. Here are some tools that you could use to be creative with clay, but you can also use your hands if you like to as well. You will need some water and some clay to get started. I'm going to show you some ideas that you can use to make things out of clay, but you can always use your imagination and have your own ideas too. So let's get started. Here's a fun idea of something that you could make, a garden snail. If you don't want to make a garden snail, that's okay too, but I'm going to show you how to use clay in this video. So grab your tool, some clay, and some water, and roll a ball. If your clay is dry and it has some cracks, that's when you can add a little bit of water. You don't want to make it too sticky, but you don't want any cracks either. If you can make it the size of one of your fingers, that's a pretty good thickness. Try to see if you can roll it as big and thick as your finger. That'll be a great way to start. When you like the size and the shape, then we're ready for the next step. Scoring. That's when we're gonna take our tool, dip it in water, and make lines going one direction all across, just like this but then we're going to stop. Leave a little space and now go the other way. They'll look like tiny, tiny X's. Scoring will help our pieces stick together. Now, most important is we add the water. When we add the water lightly to the clay, it makes slit. That's kind of like a glue. It's watered down clay that's a little bit sticky and it will help our pieces stick together. Remember, you can use slip anytime you want your pieces to stick together really well. Here's another idea too. Add a little water on the outside and use your tool to go in the middle and gently press. That'll help make your snails stick together nicely too. Use those tools and be very gentle. Now you can see they're sticking together. Clay is great if you make mistakes. Making mistakes means you're learning. And if you make a little mistake and you're not too sure, you can always fix it with a little bit of water or squish it up again and start over. Now I'm gonna draw my little face, some eyes, and he's almost done. Now I need to add one more thing, a little antennae. I'm gonna get a, a little tiny piece of clay, roll it up like this, like a little worm, bend it, and we remember. Do you remember if we want them to stick together? We have to score back and forth like an X, add water to make slit, and press together. Oops, I mean press together. Yep, yeah, it's a little tricky sometimes, but that's okay. We're all learning. Ta-da, he's done. Here's another fun idea to try, a pinch pot basket. Grab your clay and break it into a smaller piece. Ah, there we go. That's a good size for my hand, but you might wanna go a little bit smaller for yours. There we go, a little pinch pot. First, we make a ball. Roll it in your hands. Add a little water if you need to. Nice and slimy. Uh-oh, cracks. Check yours for cracks too. If you have cracks, you need to add a little bit more water. And press a little bit harder. Give it a squeeze if you want to. And those cracks will smooth right out. Look at that. Now we're almost ready to make a pinch pot. Give it a try. Just remember, add a little water. Roll it on your ball and roll it back and forth in your hands. Now, take your finger and poke, not all the way down, but almost to the bottom. There, kind of looks like a donut. And then pinch around, pinch, turn, pinch, turn, pinch, turn, pinch, turn, pinch, turn. That's why it's called a pinch pot. We're just going to pinch and turn, pinch and turn, 
and it's starting to look like a bowl. Now the tricky part is not to pinch too hard. You don't want it to be too thin because if it's too thin, when it dries, it will crack. So just pinching a little bit and it should kind of look something like this, but it's okay if it doesn't, we can always try again. So pinch and turn, pinch and turn, and you have your own pinch pot. Add a little water to the top to seal up those cracks and you're almost all done. Smooth out the middle, nice and slimy, and smooth out the edges with a little water. That looks great. Now you can bend your top in a little bit, make it look like a flower, make it wavy, whatever you like. Make it yours. Now, if you want to add a little loop on the top, it could be a handle for a basket. You might need an adult's help for this. It's a little bit tricky. Grab a little piece of clay. You might want to add some water too if your clay is dry. And then we're going to roll it out just like we did the snail. It's only going to be maybe as thick as your finger. Keep rolling until you think that you've got the right size. Then we can always check. Before I put this together, I'm going to make some slip in my hands. Add a little water and rub it into a piece of clay. It's very slimy and really sticky. It even sticks to my hand, but that's gonna be great for putting our handle together on our basket. You can make your own slip in a container by mixing some clay and water together. Now let's attach our handle. I'm using a toothpick, but you can use whatever you like. Add a little water, poke, 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 poke. Nice and sticky, just the way we need it. And now on the opposite side, one there and one over here. Poke, 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 add a little water, poke, 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 make it nice and sticky. That looks good. Now we're ready to score a little bit more with a tool. I really want this handle to stay on good. Remember, if we score the basket, we have to score the handle, so they'll stick together. So score both ends of the handle, just like this. And to make it extra strong, I'm going to add a little slit just like glue. Now, put them together and they'll stick. Hold a little bit and it's okay if you need to ask for some help. It's a little bit tricky and we're all just learning. Now put together and press, pinch, pinch. Add a little water to smooth it out or use your tool if you want to try. There, looking nice and smooth. I think this pinch basket is almost done. A little more water to this side. See how smooth this gets? Wow, these tools are great. If you have a small paintbrush, you can use your small paintbrush to smooth things out too. And now it's all done, a pinch pot basket. That was a lot of fun. I wonder what to put inside. Let's make a coil pot. To make a coil pot, we need a base. A base is the bottom of the pot. We need a little bit of water and we're going to make a ball in our hands. When we're done making the ball, we're gonna squish it flat. It's going to look like a coin or a plate. So squish it in your hands tight, squish it again. See, a little circle, nice and flat. It's okay to ask for some help or you can use a rolling pin. 
A rolling pin will help roll the clay nice and flat too. And flip it over and roll again and it's flat on both sides. This is how it will look. That's a base. Now to make our first coil, just like the snail, we're going to take a piece of clay and roll and roll till it's as thick as your finger and make sure there's no cracks so we can always add a little bit of water if we need to. This one's gonna be a little bit longer than the snail. Add a little water to smooth it out. And this is our coil. Now we have to check the size. We take our coil and see if it wraps all around our circle the whole way. Let's check. Yep, that's the right size. Now we're ready to stick them together, but you know how to do that. Get out your tools. And we have to, do you remember? Score. Make our little lines all the way around. One direction, dip in water, and then the other direction. So they look like X's. This is where we're going to stick our coil. And if we score one part, we're going to have to score the other two. Now we score the coil. We're gonna go all the way across the coil, adding a little water and using our tool to score. I want this to stick really good, so I'm gonna use a little bit of the slit that I made before. It's going to be like glue. I'm going to put it all along the base to help the coil stick to the base. You can add a little water to your fingers or to your tool just to get along those edges that are tricky to get to. This will help your coil stick to the base too. There we go, one coil added to a base. You can make it as tall as you like. Here's how to add a second coil. Grab your clay and a little bit of water and roll just like we did the first time. Roll it in your hand or on the table, making it as thick as your finger and as long as your snail. If you make it too long, you can always cut it a little bit. Then you could have two pieces. Now use your tool to score the top, just like this. Add a little water, and then we're going to score the second piece. And it's all done. This is a little coil pot. You could add as many layers as you like. In this last clip, I'm gonna show you how to add textures. You can make your own prints. I'm gonna show you guys how to make textures using this piece of lace. Just put it on top of your clay, use a rolling pin or your hands to press down, and lift up. Look at that. A textured lace print. You could try this with so many things in your home. I hope you had fun learning about clay and I wonder what you're gonna make. Get creative, make memories and have fun. Till next time, Ona.